LJ Draco here. So yes, if you've just seen the first video that I uploaded, um, thank you for watching that and showing the support. So as you can see, there are some weird designs here in the background. That is because I will be unboxing the USS Vengeance. Sorry about the paint got really badly scratched in this room. So let's just hide that ugliness there. So it's gonna be very difficult to unbox this because of how big the box is compared to the other ones. Um, these boxes are actually a lot bigger um, just by comparison. Like like twice the size of that one. So as you can see, there she is. So now let's just cut to her out of the box and on the table. Okay, so as you can see, she is much bigger than the Enterprise. Like if I was to put her on my hand, she comes all the way. Um, the detailing on the USS Vengeance is in, okay. Now the USS Enterprise 1701D is my favorite Star Trek ship, but this is uh, at least a close second. Um, I believe that the pattern is called Azteking. Um, it's just a really beautiful in the movie the ship looks more like a black color but this is more like a charcoal dark gray which is a really nice color um, I reckon it looked darker in the movie due to being in space you know so here is the saucer part uh, yeah there is a hole here um, I believe the reason for this is to represent the Federation but I could be wrong but there's some nice detailing here on the bridge. This nice like webbing design for the windows. Nice shade of blue here. Um, inside, as you can see, if I can get the focus, inside the um, thingies. <laughs> well, inside there's this blue plastic, like translucent plastic. And you can also see it on the side, like there. Now as we lift her up, you've got this nice lighter blue for the deflected dish. You've got like these photon torpedoes and stuff like that there. This is the under saucer part. You know. And turn around. And then we get the same dark blue uh, translucent plastic there and in the back. Try see if I can get some nice focusing here. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I think she is absolutely beautiful. Um, she is from Star Trek Into Darkness, which is my favorite out of the three new movies. I do like the 2009 JJ Abrams movie, but there's something about Into Darkness that just makes me appreciate the movie a lot more. I don't know why. So you can see USS Vengeance. Look at the stand. Hopefully that goes in okay, because I know that a lot of these stands struggle to get into the actual bases. Uh, that's actually in now. You know, so. It. Let's see, have we got her in? Yes, we do. There we go. So that is what she looks like on the stand. Yet again, it's that nice, uh, that nice little tilt on the stand that displays the deflector and the, you know, and the rest of the under saucer portion. So, if 
we lower the camera down a bit, let me see. If you're wondering why there was a cut there, it's just so I could lower the camera, so I could show you the, the stance of the ship. It's on a diagonal point. So if you look, it's tilting upwards. And then to compare the Enterprise 1701D with the USS Vengeance, just so you can get a size comparison. Now the USS Vengeance ship is part of the special range of Eagle Moss ships, so it is slightly bigger. But just on a kind of scale, um, you can definitely see the size um, of the two are completely, <laughs> completely different. Wow, that is the size. So, yeah, I just, I just thought I would uh, show the two in comparison to the two. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to subscribe like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and stick up my videos, click that subscribe button down below. I'd surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful, wonderful people, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.